Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach, Jeff Copper. And today I wanna to talk to you about some insights around the mail and paying bills. One of the things that I have found is that the world bullies people with ADHD to do it in a way that's convenient for them. And sometimes the old fashioned way, paper is high tech uh, for those with ADHD. Let me illustrate. Mail and bills are typically a problem. This is a stack of mail that I have. I have found personally in my life, I like getting my bills in the mail because I go to the mailbox and I have this. The first thing that I do is I start getting rid of the flyers that I don't necessarily need, really just kind of getting rid of the trash. And it just so happens there's a trash can under my mailbox. So it's really easy at the point of performance uh, just to grab this stuff that doesn't really make any sense. And I'm just sorting it right now by putting it into the trash pile. There's some more, just junk. Again, it's a point of performance and I'm getting rid of it. This is kind of interesting. Don't need this, don't need this, and don't need this. Now I have, this is a bill. I open it, I get rid of all the stuff inside. This is just my internet bill, and I put in a bill pile. Here's an AT&T bill. I open it up. Notice what I'm doing is basically I'm getting rid of everything that I don't need so it's not um, overwhelming to me visually. And I'm starting to sort things into uh, categories. One is paying the bills, AT&T bill and Spectrum bill. This is a bank statement. Again, I reconcile my bank statement. Some of you don't, but anyway, I'm taking this out and I'm putting this in the statement pile. Um, let's see what else we got. Here's an insurance statement. So I'm taking this and I'm putting it into a separate pile. Now that I have my piles together, notice is that I was just at the mailbox. I got rid of everything that I don't need and I've got everything categorized. Now what I do is I walk into my house and I put them there. And when I pay my bills, I go online just to my bank and I pay them twice a month from the bank account. It's nice and simple. When I'm done, I just take those bills and I put them in a box on top What's most recent is on top. That way, if I ever need to find something, basically I go, hmm, I need to find like March. So I go to the middle of the pile, but I have a chronological order of my bills as they come in and as I pay them. They're not exactly in date order, but it's really easy because I put them in the box and I know where they are. If I need to reference them, it takes a little bit of searching, but it's really not that difficult. Now, what I want to illustrate from this system is it's a relatively boring task with, a, and, and I made a, this really simple by, I don't have to think about the bills. They come to me in the mail. I get rid of everything that I don't need. It's a mindless exercise and I put them in piles. So then I just have to sit down and go online to one bank account or one online portal to pay the bills. Let's contrast that with uh, paperless bills. When I get the email in with a bill, like so let's say AT&T, what I have to do is I have to click on it and go to a website. The good news is the, the, the website address is embedded in the mail. But then I've got to go find my username and password. I don't know about you, but I've got more than those and I can manage myself. Once I log in, then I've got to go find where the statements are. For me, it's really not very intuitive. The first thing they want to do is sell me all kinds of stuff. So I've got to do a lot of work to find the bills. When I do that, I like to keep copies of them. So now I have to download it and then I have to save it onto my hard drive. Next thing, I like to print them out because I record my stuff in Quicken and I like to pay them that way because it's a lot easier. So I end up having to print the stuff out and I put them into the same piles that I did come in the mail. My point really is, is do you see all the steps that are involved in order for me to get that bill? I like these because they're very tangible. I can look at my account statement right now. There's the number. What do I do anything with this bank statement or not is a little bit irrelevant, but at least I know what's in my account. If I get the bill online, I've got to go through all kinds of steps in order to find out what that number is. And people with ADHD struggle on anything that's boring that requires a lot of steps. My tip to you is this, is that if you begin to take a look at your processes of managing them, we need to keep things as simple as possible. What I've outlined here today is just what I do. It doesn't mean that you need to do it, but I do want to highlight that many people get stuck on the electronic bills and they get stuck because they come in, maybe they hit your junk mail, they're with 50,000 other emails, they're invisible to you. It takes a lot of work for you to actually access and find out what's going on, and that's the very barrier that's getting in your way. For me, paper is high tech. Um, I like it, it's nice and simple, and I find many with ADHD do much better managing bills and mail when it comes to this. The one thing that I will tell you is when I do sort out my stuff, everything insurance related, particularly medical, goes into a separate pile. That's a more complicated pile because 
insurance billing is a little bit more difficult, but I put it over there for another time and then I take care of all the easy stuff of paying my bills because it's right in front of me. I hope that you've enjoyed um, this, this tip and insights and these thoughts um, and, and, and some of this take it to heart and maybe play with what you've got kind of going on. If you uh, like our channel, please subscribe to it. I get there, hit the subscribe button right here and please leave some comments. I'm very interested in what your thoughts are and maybe even some systems that you have that you can share with other people with ADHD to help them get by uh, the procrastination difficulties around paying bills. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you found this very insightful. Take care.